Hello guys, it's Anish Vijay with the tutorial on how to make fire and this is a realistic um, no, like a Minecraft fire and it's actually pretty good so if I just find it uh, okay, this is it mm, if I click uh, I can't, if you hit play you can't really see it but in the render you see it so if I just click on the texture it should show the animation like that Uh, yeah, if you render it and okay, let's get to the tutorial. Uh, so let's delete this. Oh, by the way, um, this is what you use to have an interactive render. So, wherever you move, it will render the object wherever you are, and this decreases the quality and increases it. It's pretty, very good, very, uh, very handy. Um, so, delete this and delete this. Okay, so let's get a new texture, go all specular and load a, these are all the effects and surfaces and I'll just show you one quick example, uh, brick surfaces, if you click on the picture these have so many uses, you can use them in so many ways you can actually have them popping out of your uh, your, your picture uh, your, object so like that and there are so many of them so it's very useful there are so many like uh, you can even make lava from this and but uh, this tutorial is on fire so um click on the fire mm. oh forgot we need to add a uh, changes to a plane right click change the plane and also maybe go to effects and change it to a pixel and click on it click on the thing and change this to 16 so minecraft size and just you, know, you can adjust the fire to whatever you like and let's increase the stuff or decrease it and until you're satisfied until you're satisfied oh, I think I should move this here Turbulent. Oh. Okay, so that looks good. So click on animate, right click and click on animate. It should render it and to done rendering we click here, click on copy and go to alpha, click here, paste and now we have our fire. Um if you're not happy you can change it. Uh oh forgot we need to add a glow change it to like 10 and change the luminance and just put it at 0 I guess um, now make a plane rotate it no uh, change it to 1 meter so 100 centimeters and 0 and 0 or 1 and 1 rotate it 90 degrees let me see if it's the correct way Okay, so yeah, rotate it this direction. Click on the move tool, enable this so it's 10 centimeters. Copy and paste, move it 40 centimeters, move this 40 centimeters, copy and paste, rotate it, hold shift, and then move it 40 centimeters and move this 80. Okay, so we have this. Now we just select all our planes drag the texture on it, press C to make it editable, Alt G to group it, enter and rename to fire. Okay so we have our fire uh, now, oh we don't need to group it, we can just make it one uh, object. So right click connect plus delete and we have one object and we can name it fire yeah so that's how we do that and just to show you it works oh it's glowing also which has a nice effect and yeah uh, by the way I was in the person who, um, who learned about uh, 
the person who taught me this was Animator Craft. I'll put his channel link in the description. Uh, he's a nice guy. He's German and a nice guy. Uh, no, not to be racist or anything, but yeah, he's a nice guy. Um, he showed me a lot of things. Uh, he teaches me a lot of things. <laughs> uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and.